Today's lesson video is based on chemistry 1501. We are going to look at quantum numbers. The subtopic is orbital diagram, orbital energy level. This is lesson 102. Let us start. In the previous lesson video, we talked about the SP notation. We can actually write down electron configuration using SP notation of any element on top of the periodic table. We also explain different types of orbitals, that is the S orbital, P, D and F. Now today's lesson video is how to write the electron configuration using the orbital diagram. Now what you need to know is that the 1S orbital, it has only one box. The 2S, it also has one box. The 2P, let me see the P orbital, it has three boxes. And then the same goes to 3S, 1, 3P, it has three. And then going to 3D, D has five boxes so these are orbitals using the boxes comparing the two notations on the SP notation we know that this exponent represents the number of electrons or let's see it represents the atomic number. So we know that oxygen is element number 8. It has 8 electrons, 8 protons. Now how can you represent the orbital diagram of oxygen? Now we look at 1s. We know that the maximum number of electrons s orbital can occupy is only 2. So electrons, we use spins or arrows to represent electrons. And then we use boxes to represent orbitals. So inside the S orbital, 1S, we only have the maximum of two electrons. So for oxygen, we need eight electrons. So it will be one, two. Then we are done with this. We move to the next one three four we are done with energy level number two and s orbital and then we go to p it's one two three four five six seven eight so if you are looking for the orbital diagram of oxygen this is the orbital diagram and then you did realize that when we are actually filling the electrons we we start by filling the up spins and then we start again filling up the down spins we don't do it like this this is totally wrong you need to fill all the orbitals before you can start with the down spins let us look at more examples what is the orbital diagram of aluminium? We know that aluminium is element number 30. So we start with 1s, uh, 2s, uh, 2p, uh, we have 3s, and then we have 3p. So you can see that the p orbital has three boxes and then the one orbital has I mean the S orbital has one box so we start with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so we are done let us look at more Questions. Let us find the SP notation of arsenic 
and also look at the orbital diagram of arsenic now remember it's very important that you write this down or when you are in the exam you can write this on a piece of paper or a scribbler it will actually assist us on how to determine the correct sp notation now we start with 1s so we are going to have 1s2 we go to 2s 2s2 we go to 2p 2p 2p6 by the way arsenic it's element number 33 so we need to go up to 33 electrons after 2p we go to 3s 3s2 and then from 3s we go to 3p it will be 3p6 from here you, we move down to 4s so we have 4s2 from 4s2 we go to 3d we have 3d10 let us quickly verify whether we didn't exceed or we are on the right track okay so we have 2 plus 2 which is 4 plus 2 which is 10 plus 2 which is 12 plus 6 which is 18 plus 2 which is 20 plus 10 which is 30 so 3 electrons left from 3d we go straight to 4p so we have 4p3 so this is the sp notation of arsenic now you can see that this diagram actually it assists us in terms of order it's 1s 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 4s 3d 4p so once you master this diagram it will be simple for you to actually know the order of how to write this sp notation now looking at the orbital diagram we are going to have 1s which is one block 2s which is uh, one block uh, 2p which will be three blocks 3s one block 3p which will be three blocks then we can write this here 3d which will be five box uh, 4s which will be one block then 4p which will be three blocks i hope you can see this then we need to fill in this orbital it will be one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So we have three unpaired electrons in arsenic. Now that we know the orbital diagram, let us go straight to orbital energy level. It's not that different from the orbital diagram but this one there's an order so the 1s will be the first energy level and then we have 2s which should be here then we have 2p 2p it's slightly above the 2s and then we have 3s which is slightly above the 2p and then we have the 3s I hope you can see this so suppose you're looking for 
the orbital energy level of oxygen. We know that it's element number 8, it has 8 electrons. So we are going to fill in the first one which is 1, 2, and then from here we go to the next energy level which is 2s, 3, 4, and then from here we go to the next one which is 2p, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the orbital energy level of oxygen will actually be this one. And you need to make sure that you start by filling in each orbital before you can fill in the down spins. This will assist us to determine the characteristics of an element. Another example, let us look at the orbital energy level of chlorine. It's element number 17. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we can quickly remove this. This is the orbital energy level of chlorine. That's it for this lesson video. This is Wahula SJ. Thank you very much.